And there are all these you know, theories. That, uh, no, there are all Mr. these Kalapa. theories, Mr. One second. There are all these theories also, Mr. Kalappa, that he's being forced to continue. That he's not actually interested. He spent a lot of time outside of Delhi. That he is, you know, he's not seriously meeting people. I mean, when I asked Mr. Vasan today, when was the last time you met Rahul Gandhi? He couldn't remember. I asked this question to several senior Congress leaders. When was the last time you had a serious interaction, a political interaction with Rahul Gandhi? They, they can't, they can't fairly well remember. So what is the, what is his daily schedule? He has no interest. Wh what is his daily schedule? Being a politician, what is his, years, what is he his? He could not get groomed to become the Congress leader. Yeah. yeah. So what is his? How? What are these meetings? What ten years? Oh. Manmohan Singh invited him to join Can the I? ministry. He did not. Is he? At the same time, Madam Sonia Gandhi gave the leadership. Is he uh, being, vice president of is the he, is he he interested? Form, she formed a committee. No, Mr. Kalapa, Mr. Kalap, could not leave Mr. There. Kalapa, is it true he's not interested beyond the point in day-to-day -day politics? That impression is gaining ground. I think you're mis I think you're misinformed totally, Arnab. I don't think uh, No, he's I always been part-time. Uh, no, is he part-time? Sabha well says he's part-time. <laughs> No, no, He's I always been part time. That much of a problem, you know. I, 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 I don't know what part time means in Sabha's uh, dictionary. Sabha, what do you but, mean? But, but, I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Kalapa. I'll just tell you, Mr. Kalapa. Now I'll just say one thing. Yeah, go ahead. Arnab, I want to repeat something that happened during the election campaign. Go ahead. Go ahead. I want to say it right now. The day that Smriti Rani went to uh, Amethi to campaign, I did a show with you. The next day, I went out to a Chinese, very local Chinese restaurant. Mr. Rahul Gandhi was sitting in a Chinese restaurant with some friends. I mean, what? it's the kind of thing you don't write about, you don't say, but now the months have passed. What? When everyone what? was campaigning away in his constituency, he was sitting in a Chinese restaurant in Delhi the day after Smriti Rani was declared the candidate for the BJP in Amethi. Right? I mean, I was a bit shocked yeah, because my own thought was, my God, people, you know, we, uh, people deserve politicians who take this more seriously. During an election campaign, he was, I mean, it's his private life, I have nothing against it, but at the heat of the campaign, he is cited all over Delhi, very casually. In politics, you it's a full-time occupation, be it Narendra Modi, be it uh, even Arvind Kejriwal or anyone. It is, uh, everybody, and for Rahul Gandhi, it's no, always been one, casual. One second. He has never given an impressive speech in parliament, not once. No, you one know? second. I want to. I want to make one there point. Is a, there is a problem. No, no, no. One second. Hartosh, Hartosh, Hartosh. One second. I, I like yeah. to get Hartosh in. I like to reiterate that yeah. even in the middle of an election campaign. But I must tell no, you. No, one second. I must Bra tell you, Sabha, because this is something you said about Rahul Gandhi, and this is something I must point out that we have a Prime Minister of India today who says I have not taken a 15-minute vacation. And, but really, if one doesn't take a 15-minute vacation, well, what kind of a decision will he take? Because if he, if, if you know, the, the mind the is not... That that he's he's taking, it's not a permanent vacation. The decisions that he's taking, taking is being reflected in the results. The machine. You know, the which, body and the country is repeatedly endorsing the decisions of the, the Prime Minister. Holy books say you know, that take our friends off, from Congress are still, still in the vacation mindset. Minister, and it seems that they are all willing and eager to go into a permanent vacation. Up, you, and you if this mindset stays so, the people of this country are going to send them into a permanent vacation. This is exactly what will happen. No, I, 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 Mr. Mr. Kalappa, Mr. Kalappa, Mr. Kalappa, Mr. Mr. Kalappa. Mr. Mr. Kalapa, one second. I want to get Hartosh in, but before I go to Hartosh, I don't think. No, one second. Mr. Kalapa, I reiterate. Every one of his decisions is a copycat decision. Every one of his decisions. Swachh Bharat, Nirmala Bharat. Everything is copycat. Only thanks to this, I would suggest Mr. Narendra Modi begins by taking this you must acknowledge the depth and width. You know, the people of India, it has become a people's movement now. Mr. Kalapa, we want the Congress to revive. Those are all your Sarkari programs. Aman Sinha, Aman Sinha, I want the Congress to revive. Gentlemen, watch, watch. Aman Sinha, Aman Sinha, I want to say something here. Aman Sinha, I want Aman Sinha. What are you talking about? Kind of inspirational leader. Mr. Sinha, no, no, one second, one second. Let me just state my point. How can you even compare it to what Rahul? Let, let me let me let me state my view tonight, Mr. 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 Aman Sinha. Let me state my view. In response to the little anecdote which has been shared by Saba, which I must say is quite uh, interesting, Saba, <laughs> interesting and juicy anecdote. The point is this: that no, I believe my own view is Artosh that everybody has a right to take holidays, and if you want to take a holiday in the middle of election season, that's also okay. If you don't want to be in your constituency 
and want to be in Delhi, that's also okay. That if you right. don't want to be campaigning and you want to be in Delhi and you want to, that's also okay. you want to have a Chinese meal with a, with a bunch of close friends, that's that's also okay. And if you feel that not just you but the prime minister who you are up against should also take more holidays. That's also okay. In fact, if Rahul Gandhi says today I'll work two days and take five days holiday, that's also okay. But the point is, is what is okay for Rahul Gandhi working for the Congress party? Hartosh, that's Arnav, the question. The crucial problem is, the crucial problem is that it does not matter if Rahul Gandhi was actually campaigning every day in Amethi or was working every day here Precise. or not working. The problem is that we should not invent excuses for Rahul Gandhi. It is not disinterest. It is incompetence. He is unfit for the post he is holding. It doesn't matter what he does. He cannot save this party. The problem is simply, I think even Ram Guha used the word, he is at best mid-level manager material who has been put in the position of the CEO. It will just not cut eyes. He cannot deliver. Is that reality hitting? Is everyone wrong? Oh, what do I no, no, what's it? Uh, Mr. Rajagopal. Because inside parliament, Arunab, Arunab, inside parliament, Mr. No. Rahul Gandhi takes the view and clue from Papu Yadav. He cannot stand and counter Modi inside the parliament. I have been with, watching him from the press gallery. And moreover, when the Delhi election fiasco was there, he said he will follow Amadne Party's principles. What type of no, thought he has on political matters? He should also lead the opposition party. He should not hide behind Papu Yadav in parliament. You see, to they, have to, be, might, they have to be... They have to be... come forthright. No, no. Targets of success and limits of failure. Targets of success and limits of failure are very important to set. Aman Sinha, simple question to you tonight. Okay, all the losses of the past have been a mistake. All the losses are because you've been in power for 10 years. Suppose you lose Jharkhand. Then you lose Jammu and Kashmir and then you also lose Delhi. That means you would have, Rahul Gandhi would have the dubious distinction of leading you to 10 losses, successive losses. Then what? The will he remain even after that? You're asking a question uh, uh, to No, no, me no. Question is to the Congress. Don't answer for the Congress. Yes. Losses. And you, you, you have not, you have not, my counted, name, therefore I was you have not counted the victories in... Uh, no, no, 10 losses, he continues. In uh, Himachal Pradesh. You, you have not counted the uh, victories in... Uh, Which? Uttarakhand. That is pre-2004 no, Lok Sabha Kalapa. To be, if you want you to know, be uncharted... You Himachal Pradesh is Veer Bhadra saying... You want to make snide remarks... It's a remarks strong local leadership. Eating, what he's not eating, you're welcome to it's do. A, you know, it's, it's a it's flip. Himachal Pradesh is so naturally switches. You're welcome to make all kinds of snide remarks about anybody. It's, it's really, not Rahul Gandhi. You're really welcome to do it. Don't take but, away credit I, from the I, state I, leadership. I'm only asking you, out of fairness, out of fairness, I think you have to be a little more considerate. You have to be a little more considerate to the situation, to the circumstances which one is in. Which? You know, it's not fair, it's not fair according to me, to, to, to say what that, you know, that after 10 years, you have... You no, know, which your is harming your party? After 15 years, why haven't you won an election? According to me, I think it's a little unfair, but uh, uh, knowing... Why Arnav should anyone Arnav, be considerate you, to someone? You've not been uh, known to be extremely, uh, you know, fair on uh, everything. So you're welcome to go ahead and, you know, make all these snide remarks. You're welcome to do what you like to. But I'm only making a humble point to you. That try and be a little fair when judging... Mr. Kalappa, Mr. Kalappa, don't, don't give me a sentimental a response. No, no. No, one and second. Water, uh, water sheep. They no, in spirit of this Tamil fairness, Nadu. we should all mention that he deserted the Congress in party in midst of campaign seats. in Maharashtra and Haryana. He all deserted the Congress seats. cadres. No, Mr. Kalappa, he first of all... He is willing to engage with his first of all, party men. First he is of not all, willing to engage with media. What did Mr. He is not Pithira willing to... Chauhan and that has resulted into mutiny and revolt in the Congress Mr. party. Mr. Chauhan say in his famous uh, union interview. Ministers of, uh, in all fairness, we must be saying this also. What did Mr. Chauhan say? No, Mr. Kalappa, first of all, I completely disagree with the sentimental that you so answer that you have given to, to me, to my very factual question. I it's think responding with emotion That's to fact is not a good thing. You, 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 were, you were making snide remarks. I wasn't. I said, I said, Mr. And what he was, uh, 
What was the snide remark? Some factual observations. Very what? well, it's a, very well for you. Like I said, me, it's me, your personal channel, so you're welcome to Mr. make No, it is not, Mr. Kalappa. Like the fact is, I, Mr. I, I, I would judge him. Can I, can I, I, I get would him, judge Allah? him. I would, I would be a little more fair while dealing with him and say that, you know, after 10 years, it's difficult to win elections. No, I'll, I'll tell you, Mr. Kalappa, what is fair? Of, of uh, okay, I, 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 I want to say, say one thing to Mr. Kalappa, very urgently. No, no, Mr. Kalappa, I'll say something to you. No, no, Mr. Kalappa. say one thing? Mr. Kalappa, I'll tell you one thing. There is a famous film star's son. Okay, the film star's son gets launched. I'm not naming the film star. A legendary star's son gets launched. And his first movie is a flop. And he's allowed a series of flops. And after a point of time, he has to perform at least at a basic mediocre level. And if he doesn't perform for 10 years and 15 years, even that legendary actor's son can no longer have any say at the number one spot in Bollywood. I'm giving you an example of Bollywood. Now I'm asking you here today, suppose a Gandhi family member, how many attempts do they get at success? How many? Mr. Kalappa? Five, six, how seven, many nine, how many, how many, ten. How many, attempts, how many attempts at success did you give? Mr. Lal Krishna Adwani from 2004 till 2014. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Okay, I want to get in. Okay. Allow me. No, no, one second. Sabah is countering. Sabah, Sabah. Mr. Kalapa, Sabah is countering. As someone who's covered the BJP for many years, Mr. Kalapa had no doubt. He was eating. Had no doubt. I have covered the BJP. If Mr. Narendra Modi had said, allow me to say one thing, Mr. Kalapa. You know what kind of food? Mr. Allow me, uh, was Mr. Kalappa, allow now me to say. my friend is completely short of answers. No, one second. So yes. Okay. totally bankrupt uh, also. If you Mr. know, let, let me just Modi. come in. Arnab. No, no, one second. I'll let Sabha come in, please. Arnab, this Aman. is this, you know. No, uh, Aman, no, no. hear me. This, Aman, you know, Aman, let me the, finish one thing. Kind of, Aman, let me finish one thing. Politics, Mr. Kalappa, be very clear. In this whole time, when Mr. Narendra Modi became a PM candidate, had he said. This is what has resulted into their, you know. Loss in not no, only Mr. in these general elections, but also in both these states. And now it is, a, you know, the different, different level of psychophancy we have, you know, uh, descended to. It is amazing. Because they have no stakes at all. Both Mr. Rajagopal and Aman Sinha have no stakes. No, no, no. But they just no, want this is to not a balance. Sabha. No, no. Are we not entitled to speak? Are we not entitled to speak, Bridget? We come to the discussion. No, we, we cannot. One, one second. One second. One minute again. One at a time, Mr. Rajagopal. One at a time, Mr. Rajagopal. Non family members. Can I just finish? One no. He just split her up. He initialized Arnab, I've been by trying those are, no. those are his wishes. Those are Mr. Rajagopal's wishes. He wishes that the Congress... Okay, okay, Mr. Okay, Mr. 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 Kalappa, straight question to you. Straight question to you, Mr. Kalappa. Straight question. No, straight question to you, Mr. Kalappa. Tamil Nadu was... No, no, straight question to you. One second, one second. Let me ask this question. Mr. Kalappa. Name one Congress leader of some consequence who Rahul Gandhi has nurtured at the topmost level. Name one. <laughs> there are no I Congress know, leaders I, I, I now. Really, uh, you know, I really, My friend is Kalabati, laughing. Kalabati. There's no one. No, I, I really uh, wonder about you, Arna, because. <laughs> It, it, Why? An entire cabinet. Okay. Why? Would, would, this, would this entire cabinet the entire have been Singh cabinet was would, nurtured would be, by Mr. Rahul Gandhi? Would they have been constituted without Rahul Gandhi saying yes or no? Ah! In a good news now. Way. So you are saying Rahul Gandhi one, nurtured Chidambaram? One you know, leader? Then therefore he was second also question. responsible second question. for all these scams. Okay, and second question. You are asking me a question. In the Manmohan cabinet. Second question. Take a second question. Ask me a question. Second question. Can I ask you a second question? No, but what I'd like to tell you what I'd like to tell you is that your question is, you know, is 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 uh, is is, uh, is absolutely mischievous. Oh, I'm, absolutely I'm always accused of this. Nothing new. Uh, through the last through the last 19 years of my journalistic career, I have only been accused of mischief by politicians. I take that as a compliment as well. My second question to you is, Mr. Kalappa. Let me ask you another question. You can describe it as mischievous, frisky, whatever. My second question to you. Is there a reservation system at the top of the Congress party? I mean, if Rahul Gandhi has failed, can you bring in Jyotiraditya Sindhya, for example? Give him a shot. What do you think? 
Is it an evil thought? Why you imagine uh, Arnab that? No, why? Why? I, I don't know why you imagine Arnab that 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 the decision to make Rahul Gandhi the vice president or so on and so forth has not been uh, you know thought out has not been no no uh, is you know no, no I, suppose consensus. I don't know why no no suppose so. there are no no can, can, can anyone else get a top can anyone else replace Rahul Gandhi labor under the impression no can anyone else replace it's a basic question I ask a simple question I'm, I'm surprised no, nobody's asking it because Congress party is ruled by the dynasty there is no meritocracy I don't know and therefore there will be you know there will only be some Nehru family you know, there are AIC descendants held with there regularity. There is the president of the Congress. No, no, sir. My question to, the, to you is: This is what my friend is also saying. Put to the AICC. Mr. And, you know, without the AICC's concurrence, these things can't go through. No, there is no meritocracy. That is the point that Mr. Basan was also making. I don't, I don't know why you don't see is this anyone? basic fact. It's only dynasty, uh, it's, complete this is dynasty. Not a, uh, you know, this is not a situation where one per person takes a decision. In every state, you didn't answer state, my question. Without consultation of the Mr. state Mr. Nalapa, how now many you're, people now you're in the Congress issue, Mr. Working Committee can win an election? Wasser, how many of them are elected? The, uh, you know, Mr. any Mr. decision Kalapa, has been taken in Tamil Nadu without, 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 without consulting the rank in the Congress and working committee in Tamil Nadu. Why do you think so? I don't know why. Why not be able to run the Yes, this is exactly what state president said. He was not even... Okay, last question. We hold him to the... Question. Family. What your Tamil Last Nadu question. Nadu. Last question. Why did the Congress Party avoid news are on Robert Vadra yesterday? I don't know. I, I, I'm, I say I'm sorry, Arnab. I must make an admission to you today that one, I don't watch news are okay, and uh, not, not, not only frankly do I that. watch any other channel for that matter. But I, I honestly don't know if anybody went for your channel yesterday or not. I was asked to come today and I've come. Rajesh Kalappa, I take your, I take, come to this conclusion. I, I, I take your point. We have to come to this conclusion that Congress is heading for a major split. We'll watch. The initialization of Mr. Vasan's exit because it is going to be a puzzle between leadership and the family. Okay. Or not the unfortunate part is that Congress is not even willing to acknowledge that they are in a terminal decline. And if you don't acknowledge the reality, where is the scope of improvement and moving on? The congressmen themselves have given up on the Congress party. And therefore, you see, you know, this kind of mutiny and revolt happening in all the states in Congress party. Okay. Aman Sinha, Brajesh Kalapa, Mr. Rajagopalan, Sabha with her anecdotes and Artosh Singhbal. Thank you very much for joining me on debate number one on the news hour tonight.